Hey everybody, Dr. John Michael Salvato, and this evening we are going to share with you uh, a replay of a webinar that I did some time ago. And the reason we're sharing it is because we have come to the conclusion of that mentoring group's uh, uh, two-year process, and we are now getting ready to launch an even bigger, uh, much more expansive and comprehensive mentoring program uh, here in 2018. And so this presentation applies um, just with so many more benefits. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and share that with you uh, in just a moment. Uh, but as you're watching this video, I want you to really pay attention to the middle part as we talk about the Andalusian fisherman and the uh, the story, the old legend of that Andalusian fisherman, and consider ways whether you decide to take us up on our offer at the end of our session tonight uh, or not, consider the ways that you can apply some of those principles uh, to your daily life, whether that's to uh, uh, your, your life as a, as a parent, your life as a, um, an employee, your life as an entrepreneur, whatever the case might be, even if you're already retired consider ways that you can apply some of those uh, some of those great ideas that we find in the story of the Andalusian fishermen. So let's go ahead and jump right in to our webinar. Hey, I'm glad you could join us. Welcome to The Secret of the Andalusian Fisherman. On this webinar, which I promise will be a no hype, no, no empty promises, no sales uh, presentation, you're going to discover the secrets that unlock the door for five of my students, helping them to become millionaires while tens of thousands of other students use the very same strategies to transform their lives. Those who don't know me, my name is Dr. John Michael Salvato. I've had the privilege for 27 of the past 32 years to be among the top 20, uh, the top 5% of income earners in the network marketing and direct sales industry. And what I want to share with you today isn't necessarily about network marketing or direct sales, but it's about success itself. It's about some of the key factors and key secrets, the strategies, if you will, that I learned that have made all of the difference in my world. So I want you to sit back and relax because we're not here to sell you anything. Thing. And, and I promise that I value your time as much as my own. So we're not going to be wasting your time with a lot of hype, a lot of, a lot of fluff or empty promises. This is going to be an opportunity for you, hopefully, to pick up a couple of the strategies that, that really were a turning point in my life and, and became a turning point in the lives of so many of my students over the years. It's an opportunity for me to, to fulfill a promise that I made to my mentors, the late Mr. Jim Rohn and Dr. Louise Hay, to give back after they so generously shared their, their wisdom and their insights with me for so many years. So let's get started by, by sharing a little bit about my story. You know, I opened my first salon and day spa when I was 18 years old, just a few months before one of my very good friends started the world's first herbal nutrition and weight loss company in the Western world. And that company he started, that herbal nutrition company, was a network marketing company. And so within three years, I had six salons. I was earning a high six-figure income with that herbal nutrition company. I was on my way to, to being on top of the world. By 1990, I sold all but one of those salons and I focused my efforts on helping establish others to, to, to find their way uh, to, to financial success and to personal health in the emerging entrepreneurial movement. I had become a full-time network marketer. Now, I quickly discovered that not only was that tacky, tacky uh, 1980s hairstyle and look at the jacket, the members only jacket and the, the shirt unbuttoned down to my belly button. I quickly dis discovered, though, that there were more important secrets to growing an international business online. That You didn't have to know how to dress well, certainly. You certainly didn't have to have the best hairstyle, and, but, but, but that you could really build a successful business online without hotel meetings or home parties, without bothering your friends and family, which was the way that everything was done up until that time. 
You see, I spent 20 of the next 24 years as one of the top 5% of income earners, as I said, in the field of entrepreneurial sales and network marketing. But I did that. What was truly unique about that was I did it without home parties. I did it without making a list, without the three foot rule or any of the other conventional wisdom that you hear in network marketing. I co-founded the first social network for entrepreneurs with three of my friends years before there was a Facebook or a MySpace. And we turned that network marketing company into a successful giant with 358,000 distributors in 39 countries in less than 18 months. So it was a project we were very proud of, a project that was actually and honestly just a, a few years before its time because it, the, the, the entire world wasn't ready for social networks. They didn't understand what a social network was and yet we still achieved success. Well, by the late 90s, I finally mastered the insane hairstyles. I got rid of the members only jacket and the jerry curl. And in 1999, I began to build a successful business in the field of consumer direct marketing. I'd invested in six new salons and spas, each with 25 to 45 employees, state-of-the-art locations and, and beautiful equipment and, and, lo and, and, uh, and locations themselves. I bought a multimedia and internet design company, a, a publishing house and an art studio. I opened six monasteries to serve the poor, the dying and homeless throughout the United States and was involved in a number of charitable projects. Now I share this with you not to impress you, but to impress upon you that I was at the top of my game by the late 90s. I was on top of the world and I had what I thought was everything. And I was able to, to do the kinds of things that I'd always dreamed of doing. I share that with you to, to impress upon you that, that what's possible in an industry, because by 2006, I was earning $26,000 a month for my network marketing business. I thought that things could never get better. And I thought that I would be on top for the rest of my life. The problem was that I was working 12 to 18 hours a day, six days a week. I was traveling around the world, making boatloads of money and accumulating all the stuff I ever dreamed of having while doing some decent, admirable charity, charity work with, with projects that meant a lot to me, but I had no time freedom. I had no freedom at all. I developed a uh, respected reputation as a naturopathic physician. I, I served on the medical advisory board for a couple of nutraceutical companies and home business programs. I seemed to be living the dream, but I was constantly on the run. And as you can tell from that photograph, it began to age me. And, and I still thought, oh, despite all of those struggles, despite the lack of time freedom, because I had all that money, because I had all of that stuff, I thought I was on top of the world still until a series of disasters struck beginning in 2004. You see, in August of 2004, Central Florida was hit with one of the worst hurricanes in 12 years, Hurricane Charlie, leaving 27 confirmed deaths, over 2,300 people homeless in an area that never saw hurricanes directly hit the area in Central Florida. One month later, the unlikely happened as a bigger, stronger, even more powerful hurricane, Hurricane Francis, hit our condo directly and destroyed our home chapel, ripped out my file cabinets in my office, destroyed three computer servers containing 20 years worth of contacts, distributor data, mailing list. My entire life was on those computers and, and the backup computer that everything was on for safety was destroyed as well. Now, just when I thought things couldn't get worse, in April of the following year, my partner was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma and our life savings was wiped out in the attempt to get him the very best medical care and treatment. He lost his life in July of 2005 and just a, a couple months before the final blow as the company that I was working with terminated me without notice because they didn't like their distributors doing webinars or promoting their network marketing opportunity online. So I got received an email that said, you're no longer working with the company. And in a period of a couple of weeks, I lost a $26,000 a month income. And the largest of the six monasteries that I founded where, where the rest of our stuff was located after Hurricane Francis was, was destroyed in New Orleans as the third and final hurricane, Hurricane Katrina, swept through the country in September of that year. And so as many of you can imagine, I thought I was done. Everything I'd worked for over the past 24 years was gone in less than a year. My partner was, was dead and, and, and I was wiped out financially. I sold my remaining salons. I took two years off to regroup, returning to the monastery and deciding what I was gonna do next with my life. The only thing that I knew that I wanted to do was to continue to have an impact on people's lives. But I, I still thought that, that the impact that I had was gonna be about teaching people how to make money. And so I needed to spend a little bit more time digging a little bit deeper and that's what led me to the next discovery. 
You see, I discovered the secret in 2007 when, when I started to experience some health issues that doctors had suspected for a couple of years was a dormant or mild form of multiple sclerosis. We discovered after a catastrophic accident that shattered my arm requiring uh, uh, two reconstructive surgeries, very extensive reconstruction, uh, that what I actually had was young onset Parkinson's disease. And so I was laid up in a hospital and I began to realize that what I really wanted what I had worked for and what so many of us work for uh, over the past 26 years wasn't really about the money at all. And so what I'd like to do for you right now is share with you a story that my friend Timothy Ferris shared about how an Andalusian fisherman he encountered changed not only his life, but both of our lives. <music> Many years ago, after I graduated from business school, I decided to take a vacation. I chose a small, quiet fishing village where I thought I'd be able to take my mind off of business, if only for a few days. Walking along the beach just before sunset, I saw a small fishing boat come into shore. Inside the boat were a lone fisherman and several beautiful yellowfin tuna. How long did it take you to catch those fish, I asked. Only a couple of hours, he replied. Why don't you stay out a bit longer and catch more, I asked, certain that there must be a demand for more fish than the few I saw in the boat. The fisherman smiled. I catch enough to support my family and I live a full and busy life. I rise with the sun, fish a little, play with my daughters, have lunch with my family, and then teach children how to fish before I stroll into the village each evening where I sip wine and play guitar with my wife and friends. Listen, I said, I have an MBA. I can help you vastly expand your business. If you would simply spend more time fishing, you would soon earn enough money to buy a bigger boat. Really? questioned the fisherman. Absolutely. And with a bigger boat, you'd soon catch enough fish to buy several boats, then a whole fleet. At that point, you'd be big enough to sell your fish directly to a processor, cutting out the middleman and greatly increasing your profits. The fisherman raised an eyebrow. Hmm. Eventually, you could open your own cannery and control the product, the processing, and the distribution, I added. Then what, he asked. Well, you then relocate your operations to the capital. And if all goes well, you'd likely find yourself in New York City and control of a rapidly expanding empire. How long would all of this take, he asked, clearly following my logic. Oh, probably between 10 and 15 years, I replied. And then what? Well, that's the best part. You would announce an IPO and sell stock to the public. At that point, my friend, you would be very, very rich. A millionaire many times over. The fisherman paused. Really? A millionaire? Then what? What do you mean? I answered a bit surprised. I mean, what would I do if I were a millionaire? What kind of question is that? Whatever you like, of course. I imagine you retire. Move to a small coastal fishing village where you would rise with the sun, fish a little, play with your granddaughters, have lunch with your family, and then teach children how to fish before strolling into the village each evening where you'd sip wine and play guitar with your wife and friends. The fisherman smiled, and without saying another word, began to build a small fire. We shared a taste of the delicious fish and watched the sun go down over the ocean as the sound of guitars rose from the village nearby. And so as you can see from that incredible story, there was a, a remarkable takeaway for me. It was, it was like a big announcement was, was made within my heart. I suddenly understood, I suddenly got it, what it was all about. As I said, it was not about the money. People aren't really looking for money. They're looking for freedom that money brings them. They're not interested in products. They're interested in the results those products can bring them. People aren't hungry for another business opportunity to occupy more of their time. They're interested in discovering how they can leverage their time, their income, and their skills to free up their time and do what really matters to them. I finally understood. Once I began to understand this, I began to study Timothy Ferris's book, The 4-Hour Work, because though my life depended on it, I realized that I was, I was wasting so much time focusing on the wrong things in my life, and, and that when I was mentoring others, I was actually teaching them to focus on some of the wrong things as well. Now, it's remarkable to me that I was able to help so many people, over 358,000 men and women in 39 countries, and we were doing it all wrong. 
But I discovered that by making just a few small adjustments in the way that I was living my life today, I could quickly return to a comfortable, even luxurious lifestyle that I once enjoyed long before I replaced my $26,000 a month lost income. You see, it's called the compound effect or the 80-20 effect. It was, it was a, a term that was first, uh, first coined by, uh, by an Italian uh, uh, by the name of Pareto. And, and Pareto understood that 20% of the things that we do on a daily basis are responsible for 80% of the results that we get in life. We call that the Pareto principle. For the entrepreneur, that also meant that 20% of the activities in which we engage are, 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 are the res result or, or end up with the result of 80% of our income. So 20% of our activities result in 80% of our income. Why not just cut out the 80% of the activities that don't produce those kind of results and focus on the 20% that mattered the most? And so a movement was born. I was on fire with this new message and began doing workshops and live seminars to teach people the material. Everyone that I could talk to, that they would sit down long enough, I started to share with them my idea of how we could begin to transform the, the landscape of the entrepreneurial movement. I knew that I needed a more effective way to get this message out there. I knew what that meant, but I was unwilling to invest the time, the money, and the freedom that was necessary to create that platform for myself because I finally understood what it took for me to personally experience freedom. So I was in a little bit of a, of a bind. I knew what was needed. I knew I would need a platform that would allow me to teach entrepreneurs the foundational skills they needed to understand the internet economy, how to properly get a message out there on social media without becoming a, a, a spammy, annoying, uh, you know, me too kind of a marketer. I knew that those techniques were ineffective and that we needed to teach people the right way to do it. I knew that I needed a, a simpler, more plug and play platform for people to begin to put what I was teaching them to work without spending hundreds of dollars on building a website or, or hiring somebody to create a blogging platform for them. And ideally, I knew that I would need to, to be able to show them how to, to use my strategies immediately and, and the concept of the four hour work week to immediately see personal, emotional, and financial gains in their lives. And so we tested a lot of platforms. I quickly realized that this industry was rife with people who talk a good game, but who fail to deliver the kind of real value it takes to accomplish what I was setting out to bring to the marketplace. There were lots of people out there talking about providing training, lots of people saying that they were gonna help you get more customers, more referrals, more repeat business, lots of people talking about putting together a platform that you could use to be able to blog, but they weren't able to deliver everything that was needed at an affordable price with the kind of quality and value that I expected and that I knew I would settle for nothing less than. Now, let me ask you a question. What if I could finally teach you how to master the personal development and business skills necessary to reduce the time you spend on insignificant and ineffective activities in your life so that you had more time to do the things that really matter to you? What if you finally understood how to reduce the time and energy that's currently being wasted on things that don't work while learning simple strategies that take just 30 to 45 minutes a day to increase your effectiveness and improve your marketing reach no matter what it is that you're trying to promote, no matter what it is you're passionate about? What if someone were willing to provide you with unlimited access to the kinds of tools, the communications and marketing platforms, the resources and everything else you needed to become a better and more successful entrepreneur right now with the ability to earn while you learn without having to quit whatever it is that you're passionate about doing? So let me ask you a question. If I were willing to invest two hours a day of my time to personally mentor you and to provide you with all the tools, the resources, and the training we just spoke about, everything you needed to finally begin to achieve success, would you be willing to dedicate one to two hours a day for the next 90 days to the mentoring process? Would you be willing to pay it forward by identifying five serious entrepreneurs who could use our help just like you and invite them to mentor with me in the next 30 days? Would you be willing to invest one solid week of your time investigating and trying out the training without any cost or investment or commitment on your part, just so that you could see that what we're sharing with you is real and to find out if it makes sense? If you said, yes, I want to be able to coach you. I made a commitment, as I said earlier, to my personal mentors, the late Mr. Jim Rohn and Dr. Louise Hay, to give back for the years they generously mentored me and coached me. 
I've used this approach to create five millionaires, and I'm looking to, to help tens of thousands of other people who, who want the kind of personal and financial freedom they deserve and dreamed of. And I'm committed to helping 50 people achieve an income of at least $5,000 to $8,000 a month in the next six to 12 months. What you're going to do is you're going to learn how to unlock the ability to dream again, to begin manifesting those things that matter most in your life. We're going to teach you how to create a compelling and accessible message that, that shares your vision and desires with others who share your core values and goals. You'll learn how to begin to tap the secrets of the four hour work week and experience the lifestyle and the freedom of the Andalusian fisherman from that video you just saw right now within six weeks, not six months from now, not six years from now, you'll begin to apply these, uh, these, uh, these strategies and tactics to start earning $20 a day and then duplicate your effort to turn that $20 a day into $100 a day and then $500 a day or more without ever having to invest hundreds or thousands of dollars in some crazy business scheme. Thank you for spending time with us. And, and I want to encourage you to think about what you heard tonight. I want you to think about the fact that it's not the money that we're after, but the freedom that we're after. And what could happen if somebody finally gave you all of the tools, the resources, and the training that you needed so that you could begin to achieve that kind of freedom, to reclaim your birthright to that freedom and to that financial and, and personal success. So, so thank you again for, for spending time with us tonight. I hope this has been of value for you. I hope you enjoyed some of the ideas that we've shared and I'll look forward to sharing more with you over the next week as you take us up on our offer and allow me to, to take an entire week of, of personal mentoring to help you to, to set the stage for achieving your personal and financial goals.